Hey everyone, the Smoking Android here. So I've gotten a question from uh, one of my subscribers to do a video on how to install boot animations. Um, although it is similar to installing a theme, um, we're still going to go ahead and do it anyways. So you want to install a boot animation. So what you're going to do, at least what I do, is um, because I've mentioned this in the past, I am a member at XDA Forums, I do happen to browse their themes and apps section um, on a daily basis looking for new boot animations to show you guys themes and so on. Um, anyways, this is the particular one I've chosen for this video. Um, it's called Apples Are, Apples Are For Nom. And um, <laughs> as you can see, it shows you the uh, boot animation that we'll be getting. But uh, we'll see that on our phone in just a moment. So what you're going to do when you do locate a boot animation that you like, um, you're going to also want to keep in mind your preferred method of installation. Um, you can use, as shown here, Root Explorer. Um, you would end up putting the file onto your the root of your um, um, you know internal or external SD card, and um, you would use Root Explorer to find it and um, extract it and so on. I do prefer. Don't ask me why, but I do prefer Clockwork Recovery, uh, the Clockwork mod that um, Tenfar has uh, released for everybody. Um, but uh, this is um, this is the way I do it. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously download the um, the file itself, uh, and of course I just clicked um, zoom in zoom. I clicked on the uh, Clockwork mod uh, uh, zip for it, and as you can see, for creating this flashable zip, so it is the zip. So now we've got that on my computer, and I've got that ready to go. As you can see as well as some of my other boot animations that I will be getting to showing you guys. Uh, what you're going to do, the first thing is, obviously you want to, whoops, let me zoom that out, you're going to want to um, plug your USB cable from your computer to your phone. Whoops, come on, get in there. Alright. And then you're going to want to go to USB connection and make sure it's on USB mass storage. All right. So once we click OK on that, boop. We're going to go ahead and go to the phone. see it popped up there. Go ahead into there. Actually it hasn't popped up completely yet but um, I prefer using my uh, SD card which is this one. As you can see I do have my Honey Glow and my custom launcher. Anyways, um, so go ahead and bring this up and what we're gonna do is copy the file onto the root of your SD card. Alright. Once that's on your the root of your SD card, now you don't need this plugged into your uh, computer anymore. So, um, I actually prefer to um, to uh, unmount both before I unplug. I don't know why, it's just force of habit, so I'm just going to do that right now. So that I know I don't screw anything up in the video. <laughs> Alright, so now you can remove this from there. We'll face this down here now for you guys. Alright, next thing we're going to be doing is plugging your phone, plugging your phone into AC because the clockwork mod will not work without um, AC turned on. So, go to my tools and go to system recovery. Again, if you have clockwork, uh, clockwork mod, this is the only way you're going to be able to flash this way, otherwise you're going to have to use root explorer. So we'll go into system uh, recovery, hit recovery mode, granting super user permission, and we'll give that a moment to uh, reboot into recovery mode. So I'll probably cut the video to that. 
Okay, so we're now in the clockwork mod, and um, with the file loaded and everything like that, and using our uh, volume rocker switches, we're going to go down to install zip from SD card, using the power button to press enter. We're going to go on down to choose zip from SD card, power button to enter. Then we're going to go ahead down to and locate the file that we just put on there, which is applenom.zip. Then we're going to go ahead and press the uh, power button to accept that. Go on down to install applenom. Install. Wow, that was quick. Did I do that properly? We'll just do right that again. Card. Go down. This, go down to install, and, oh, it's been complete. I didn't look at that. My bad, guys. All right, um, so what we're going to do then is click go back, and go back, and then reboot system now. Sorry for the dirty screen, guys. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> So, once this boots up, we should have our new boot animation. It's just that easy. So I'll probably cut out until we get into the boot animation. All right. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Apples are for nom. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure some of you out there can appreciate this bootloader. I know I love it. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully this helps you load some boot, lo uh, some boot animations. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or comment if you do appreciate these videos. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.